day YouTube. Today I'm just doing a bit of a comparison video between uh, Manjaro on the left, so Manjaro latest release version 21.2, and on the right we have uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition version 5, yeah right there on the right like I say. So uh, without further ado, we'll get into it. So starting off uh, for each of these, now actually before I go any further I'll say it is a little bit of an apples to oranges video because they do have different back ends and front ends. The similarity that they do have is that they are actually both very popular distros, which means many people might be choosing between the two amongst many other distros there of course so Manjaro on the left side so we're running on the uh, what would be considered the the default desktop environment so we've got the XFCE desktop environment here it's got the nice uh, dark mode color accents and tones there so I'm a bit of a fan of that one there and on the right hand side uh, really similar menus but not exactly the same so you can see you've got the categories for both of them but we're running on the, the cinnamon desktop environment I should say here for the Linux Mint version here and now the cinnamon desktop environment is an in-house built uh, desktop from the Linux Mint crew so that's pretty cool whereas uh, the XFC desktop environment is more of a sort of an open source used by many distros there for sure if we were to do a bit of a right click we can see some context menus uh, for the desktop there a few extra options here left and right we can create empty files I am a fan of when we can do that and you can open a, a terminal there as well which keeps me very very happy now if we were to say go to the file manager just for a hot second there, we'll uh, have a look at the similarities and differences. So we have the uh, the Thuna file manager here, which is quite common to be used in lockstep with the XFCE desktop environment that this guy on the left is using here. So this is Manjaro. Whereas on the right hand side, uh, they always seem to use Nemo for the, the file manager there. So it's really much of a muchness. They do have the same capabilities and options. The Both of these file managers aren't really limited by design in any way. Maybe it just comes down to preference there. Although I am enjoying the dark mode a little bit there for Manjaro. But hey, also you can right click and open terminal in the folder section to do certain you know pseudo root privileges work if you really wanted to which I'm a bit of a fan of as well I don't get into the code much but uh, every now and then yeah definitely want to open a terminal uh, here and there now uh, let's get into the uh, the I guess so, so the back end uh, underneath the hood as I like to say there just to get a feel for what's going on so uh, actually even before I explain what's under the hood or show you or mention the kernels uh, I'll say that Manjaro is actually running off uh, the Arc uh, desktop or sorry the Arc Linux uh, distribution or Arc Linux backend for Manjaro here so a very thriving community uh, it's more of a rolling release as opposed to a point release so you get in updates all the time for this distro here as well and a uh, very thriving community there for sure whereas on the right hand side uh, no guesses here as to what Linux Mint Debian Edition 5 is based off it's actually based off Debian of course so uh, which is known to be more of a stable uh, desktop environment or a stable desktop backend of sorts there so having a look at the kernel we are running on the 5.15 kernel here for Manjaro which is pretty consistent with any Arc uh, distribution, Arc Linux distribution, because it is running on the latest and greatest version of the kernel, or, or one of the latest and greatest, I should say, there. So pretty cutting edge stuff for, for using with newer hardware and all sorts of things there. Whereas uh, we do have a little bit of an older kernel here for sure, the 5.10 kernel uh, for this Linux Mint Debian edition. The reason for that might be that, uh, well, Debian is, is seen to be a much more stable desktop environment. So you're going to get uh, a lot of people that uh, do want stability over cutting edge. So just running a web browser uh, or something or checking email quickly as opposed to using, you know, uh, having compatibility with later physical hardware on your, your desktop or, or laptop, that kind of thing. Uh, and let's see, last but not least, let's just have a little bit of a look at the uh, the RAM on boot up. Let's see if uh, this is uh, who, who really wins out here. So this is just on boot up. Nothing else is loaded in the background, save for the operating system itself. But uh, we have Manjaro on the right, left hand side uh, running on 550 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So pretty good. I mean, that's, that's pretty common for XFCE uh, desktop environments there. Whereas on the right hand side with Linux Mint Debian Edition 5, we are running on 700 megabytes of RAM on boot up so a good you know 20% more or in real figures a good 150 megabytes of RAM more just to, just something to keep in mind depending on if you're using on an, on an older laptop I'd definitely go with the left one here so it's funny because it's more cutting edge it's got a really nice look and feel and yet it's uh, yeah it uses uses less uh, just RAM 
I think that uh, long term, I am actually uh, a day. My daily driver is Ubuntu, but I'm thinking of XFCE Manjaro. This exact distribution right here is uh, going to be my long term solution. Uh, I should really test it on a PC just to see if it uh, it really is to my liking and it's uh, fully supporting with all sorts of software that I use, which it should. So hmm, yeah, I'm I'm really I'm I'm really a big fan of this one, and I don't even use it. Hmm. So we'll see how we go there. So thanks for watching guys, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.